Hi everyone, Phil here, and this is a quick video on the graphics not compatible with either your Oculus Link or Air Link. And the answer is actually pretty simple, but what I'm going to do first uh, so that you guys have the opportunity to check this out yourself, and uh, if you'd like to dive a little bit deeper, uh, you'll be able to go to the website, the Oculus website, which they haven't changed the branding as you can see. Uh, over here, they have Oculus Meta, um, but here's the website over here. I'll I'll have it in the description below if you guys want to look at it. Um, but I want to be able to talk about this a little bit because the question did pop up several times. I'm finally making a video about it, and this video is really going to go into um, you know more of the link cable side of things. But whatever we talk about with the link cable, you can use that um, as your kind of baseline with with the airlink as well because the same pr principles apply in regards to having the correct specifications to be able to run uh airlink or link cable with your oculus quest 2 headset and your pc and with that uh, i'm not going to go into all the details here and i'm not going to read everything via verbatim it's really kind of just to do a quick overview scroll scroll through this page so that um if you do, if you do come across something that interests you, then uh, obviously you can just pause the video and look at it. But one of the things that I really wanted to focus on were the specifications for the processor, which I'll just scroll down over here, and then we're going to go to the graphics card. And as you can see, at minimum, you, you know, you're looking at Intel i5-4590 with uh, AMD Ryzen 5 1500X and eight gigs of RAM. And also just kind of keep in mind, right, like the operating system itself takes up quite a bit of RAM as well, especially for, for Windows 10. I know there's several people out there that are using Windows 11. And unfortunately, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, I'm not gonna be installing Windows 11 on my computer anytime soon. I have good, for me, um, I have a lot of applications that are very stable right now on Windows 10. So I'm not really, um, I'm just really not in that mode right now or ready to be able to uh, move over to Windows 11. All things uh, being considered that it also consumes a lot of RAM as well. But something to keep in mind, 8 gigs of RAM, you know, to be for me, I think 16 gigs of RAM is where, where you want to be kind of more on the safer side since you you do run several applications at the same time like the you know the oculus the oculus app on the pc as well as steam and then steam vr and then the application itself and then if you're running obs now you're going to be running into even more you know more graphics issues or more issues with ram so just kind of keep that in mind um, i like to try to you know like i said go up to about 16 gigs of ram and higher to um to be able to run you know vr appropriately as well as some other applications as well now, as you can see here with the uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA graphics cards, right? Just because you have a powerful graphics card doesn't mean that the Oculus is going to be able to support it, or I should say the Meta is going to be able to support support it. And this is exemplified here with the NVIDIA Titan Z and the NVIDIA Titan X. Uh, so again, I'm just going to scroll down, guys. And I know a lot of you might be disappointed when, when scrolling down through this that maybe the computer that you have doesn't have it, the right specifications. So again, it's just kind of before, before you guys get into doing this kind of, again, I think this is going to be helpful down the road as um, you guys continue on uh, gaming and things like that. I want to make sure that everyone is, has the correct information. And uh, as of today, before I, before I forget, I also want to mention that as of today, we're on version 37, both for the Oculus app on the PC and the the app, or excuse me, the operating system in the um, in the, the the Quest headset. So uh, I don't know what, which version of Android actually. Um, I'll have to look that up. Uh, anyway, so even with with AMD I know several people have have encountered issues because of the AMD graphics card and as you can see there's a, a just a, a couple there that are not compatible so again you guys can visit the website obviously uh, because I'm scrolling through this this web page um, you guys can obviously pause with you know what part that you guys want to look at just in case if you happen to catch you know one of these graphics cards that might might be compatible but you guys still running it 
running into issues here. So that's I uh, that's all I have for this video. I'm I'm hoping that it's helpful. And um, yeah, feel free to contact me in the, the comment section. And uh, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, enjoy some gaming. And obviously, uh, I'll be supporting you guys to make sure that your headsets uh, work so that you guys can enjoy some VR experiences. But with that, have a wonderful day. Do all the you know fun algorithm stuffs to help the channel. And talk to you guys soon. Yeah, have a wonderful day.